to do? I think so. That's what the manuscript says, anyway. Let's give it some time. Hopefully it'll return to normal. in a camp. Hey, who are you people? Hold on. Look at the machine. Is it fixed? What? But Mr. Persikoff is still lying on the ground over there. We're the ones to fix the machine. Yeah, you're welcome. We could have had a nice relaxing vacation if all of this hadn't ended up occupying so much of our time. Hmm. Apologize to me and my retainers at once. Uh huh? Oh no, oh no, I, I'm out of here. Hey, hey, don't leave me here on my own. Mr. Persikoff's still there. We need to save him. <laughs> Those two definitely seem a little more lucid now. It looks like we succeeded. Perhaps we should call it the Embassy of the Imanakreish and Dodo Land. Huh? No! That's too many words! Paimon would prefer something easy to remember. Come on, let's go home now. Meal, then having a long lie down. Paimon's finally starting to feel relaxed. <laughs> Is the hospitality of the Imanakreish to thy liking? Paimon's loving it. Wonderful. Main Fräulein invited you all here not only to witness the arrival of our Holy Land, but most importantly, she wished that you could all relax and enjoy the summer. Great. Well, I've come to the right place. I love it here. May this place become an eternal paradise. Main Fräulein says she hopes to go on more adventures with you here in the future. Of course. And you should come find me and Leo when you get the time. I'll show you around. Oh, also, my friend runs the best restaurant in Leo. I'm sure you'll love it. If you're into opera, you should go see Yunjin. She's the nicest person, and she likes making friends with new and interesting people. I'm sure the two of you will have plenty to talk about with your shared passion for theatrics. Oh? If Lady Shinyan speaks so highly of it, then I must entertain the idea. Traveler, I have a suggestion. There's a snack called Roasted Lavender Melon in Inazuma, which goes rather well with fish. Why don't we roast some fruit and seafood for dinner tonight? Oh? Did you try it in Inazuma? <laughs> That's great. You know, I want to follow your example and travel around the world. Hopefully, I can also make good friends along the way. That means a lot coming from you. Ah, you're all here. I've noticed an issue. Although we've fixed the machine, as you can see, the mirages on the islands have still not disappeared. Hmm. I've noticed that too. But considering it took some time for the mirages to appear, it may also take some time for them to disappear. Yes, that's definitely possible. In other news, my scryglass seems to be working fine now. The divination results are also looking about right. 
Although... Although there are some parts in the results that I don't quite understand. It's as if there is some sort of power surrounding us. And it's still watching us. Do you think it's caused by the machine? Or perhaps Persikov? Sorry, I'm also not sure. All I know is that the power is not hostile at the moment. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to harbor any ill will toward us. Well, although there's nothing left to disturb us and we can finally kick back and enjoy our vacation, we still ought to be cautious while we're on these islands. I will keep seeing what the stars say every day. I promised Fischl that I'd be her guard. I can help. Good. I'll be counting on you. <sighs> Goodness knows why those girls are so carefree about everything. I suppose it falls to me to be extra vigilant. Oh, coming. Oh, so we're gonna call the tone deaf bard, right? Well, hello there, strangers. <laughs> you finally called. I thought you were having so much fun that you'd completely forgotten about me. Nope. Oh, tone deaf bard, a whole bunch of really strange things happened. A strange machine that can imitate the power of a god? Wow. <laughs> I didn't know the Fatui had plans like that. Their imaginations are truly running wild. So, judging from your tone, it sounds like you don't know any more about this than we do. Alas, I am but a humble bard who sings for his mora in the tavern. Why would I know anything about it? Ugh, so annoying. <laughs> but other than that, did you two have fun? We did! We ate a lot of yummy food and saw loads of amazing things! It was really cool! <laughs> That's good. The point of traveling is to record any feelings stirred along the way. As long as you had an unforgettable experience, this journey has served its purpose. As for the mysterious voice, although we don't know who it was, not only did she not harm you, she also helped you to gain a better understanding of each other, right? If you look at it that way, maybe she meant you well. I mean, if she was able to intercept Alice's communication tool, I'm sure she's also plenty capable of attacking you. Hmm... Tone Deaf Bard is right! <laughs> I'm glad to bring you some peace of mind. Just enjoy your vacation to the fullest. And don't forget to tell me all about the marvelous mirages when you get back. I want to record all these beautiful memories and turn them into ballads. Every summer will become an unforgettable song. Then I'll just wait for your return. Happy vacationing! Hmm... If Tom Def Bart thinks it's okay, then maybe there's nothing to worry about. After all, Tone Deaf Bart is still a god. We should probably trust him. Let's head back. We don't want to keep everyone waiting. Hold on. Did official say earlier that she's going to catch some crabs? Oh, Paimon wants to go too! Now you have solved the mystery. Doesn't it make you feel happy? Satisfied? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm just a little bird that sometimes flies by these islands, and am now watching you from far, far away. I just so happen to sense a power here that has something to do with me. I was curious, so I landed on the beach to quietly watch everything that took place on these islands. It was fascinating. The ones who came here to work were so busy, and yet, 
I still saw genuine smiles on their faces from time to time. And then all of you arrived later on, bringing your glorious dreamscapes and wonderful willpower. Your dreams are like the pure and delicate bubbles floating on the water. The more beautiful the illusion, the more it fascinates me. I'm not able to travel myself, but I do admire free spirits like yourself. So, I helped them design a little something for you all. I hope you liked it. As I said, I don't have an agenda. I'm just a little bird. I stopped here to admire your lives, joys, sorrows, and all. You are a special person with a unique and brilliant glow. I decided to communicate with you in this way because I'm really curious about you. There's no need to wonder about my name. Maybe one day in the future, we will meet in another place. When that time comes, I think you'll be able to recognize me. 